Hello, my name is Dr. Russell Sion and I'm the Technical Director of Genton International. I'd like to take a few minutes to show you the prototype ventilator designed and built by Genton. This resulted from a call from the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency for the development of rapidly manufactured ventilator systems. Throughout this process, our overriding design philosophy was to use medically approved parts wherever possible and to use as generic components as we could. With this in mind, the prototype ventilator developed by our design team of Gareth Davis, Richard Little and myself is based on a BVM system. This has the advantage of already being medically approved and readily available. As it includes overpressure and peat valves, it also addresses most of the intrinsic safety concerns. We have, for example, also used a simple motor and belt drive rather than proprietary linear actuators. The prime reason being that although we have of course chosen specific manufacturers for these components, the degree of interchangeability is far greater if supply became an issue. Once the fundamental design concepts had been carried out, the detailed design was based around high quality components that had already undergone a considerable degree of field testing. For that very reason, we have resisted the temptation to use our own design of boards and components. If we were setting out on a process to design a ventilator for normal long-term production, the result would of course be very different. The unit has been constructed on a simple stainless steel chassis and housing, all from laser folded sheet material that required no time consuming welding. Inside, the brains of the system is a BNR PLC driving a Festo stepper drive and controller. Feedback is from first sensor pressure and flow sensors with SMC flow valves. All the components work together and are controlled using in-house software based around our own PID control algorithms. Looking at the HMI, the interface has been designed to be clear and concise with the frequently used settings directly available to the clinician. As would be expected, there are set points for flow rate, tidal volume, i.e. ratio, maximum back pressure and O2 concentration, along with instantaneous readouts of the current values. Both mandatory and non-mandatory ventilation is available. In the case of non-mandatory, the user can set the command pressure and of course, if the breaths per minute drop below a preset level, the unit will alarm and automatically switch to mandatory mode. In mandatory mode, the required breaths per minute can be set as well. Whatever mode is in operation, the actual flow and back pressure is monitored and if any value exceeds the preset threshold, an alarm is set, alerting the clinician. All alarms as well as mode changes and on and off occurrences are stored with a date and timestamp. The last 1500 alarm conditions are stored and cannot be erased. Many thousands of companies took part in this call by the MHRA for ventilator design and although we were not chosen for the final product, our concept did make it to the last few that were reviewed by the UK Government Cabinet Office. Speaking on behalf of Richard and Gareth, we'd like to thank the Genton team that helped with this design and the many companies who helped with the supply of components, late night and weekend advice and general encouragement. They are BNR, Dero, Festo, First Sensor and Shearman's. Finally, although we will be returning to our day jobs of designing UVC disinfection systems and food processing automation, if anyone is interested in taking our concept further, please contact us at Genton International. Thank you for watching.